YouTubers. This is Joe from Art Alien TV. Now today I've got two or three new uh, gigapans to show you. One of them I've shown before, but I've got a couple of new ones. Now I've got this one up here for you space detectives to check out. Now this is really interesting. A lot of people have been interested in this uh, on, on various sites and stuff. This is one of the latest sets of images from the Curiosity rover. And this, these were literally only taken a couple of days ago. And uh, I just uploaded this and what I've done, um, I've done the black and white version here at the top. I've got a color version here, and I've also got a negative version here. So you can check out a lot of these things in different formats to see the actual detail in negative or in normal viewing mode here. And what we've got here is basically a mountain ridge, which looks like it's been quarried here. We've got a ramp coming down here, and we've got loads of terracing coming around it, in front of it, and behind it up here. And terracing here, we've got these ridges. They look like steps, but this is terracing. Now, I've shown a lot of this terracing before uh, in previous gigapans, on previous videos that I've done in the past. I did a whole series last year about the Forbidden City on Mount Sharp, and I showed loads of satellite images of that. I'm going to show you a bit of that in a minute, um, some of that. Um, but basically, what you need is the hover zoom magnifier, like I've been using for a while now. Lots of people are using this now, it's really good. Um, you can get it for any browser, pretty much. Hover zoom magnifier, okay? Just look it up and you get it for free, and it just attaches up there, and you can set the level of it to how much zoom you want and how much magnification you want, okay? It's really good. And you can see those steps there, and if you look closely, we've got some interesting stuff going on on this cliff edge with what looks like water running down here, okay? These dark patches here. And this looks like a quarry. Now, why would there be a ramp here? There's a ramp coming down, just in front of this kind of ridge on the, on the cliff here, right? Coming down here. And it looks like it's been quarried, this area. And we've got another ridge sticking up behind, which is weird. We've got a weird structure here on there, that looks weird. And we've got some quite interesting detail here. But if you look at it in the negative, you can really see the terracing and steps. If you use the magnifier again, just here, and here, all up here, we've got long lines of terraces going right up the side of the mountain. Now this was taken at a distance of about four miles, okay? The rover is currently at the base of Mount Sharp at the Mont Mercau location, which is basically a ramp, a strange ramp that sticks off. They call it a cliff, but it's a ramp. And I think it was part of a structure, like a bridge or, or some kind of dockside structure. And uh, I showed that recently as well. It's got some weird stuff around it and on top of it. And they're, they're currently perched on top of this, looking up at Mount Sharp from, a, from an elevated position. So we're getting some good views of some of these lower slopes of Mount Sharp. So the camera zoomed in. This is the ChemCam, and the ChemCam's got a massive, powerful uh, telephoto lens, so it can zoom in a long way, like a telescope. And this is taken at a distance of about four miles, maybe five miles, something like that. It's a long, long way off. So this is a really long, deep zoom shot of some of the slopes and cliff edges and, and uh, interesting structures on the side of Mount Sharp that we haven't seen in this much detail before. We've got some good detail in here. And even in the black and white one, you can see a lot of this really clearly. And uh, this is weird, this ramp and these terraces. And incidentally, I did a video, like I said, I did a, I did a whole set of videos in a playlist about uh, the Forbidden City. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to the, to the playlist at the end of this video. One of the card links will link you to the Forbidden City playlist where I show a lot of this stuff from space, from the satellite images. And I showed this, well, this is one of the ones I showed. You can see these terraces here. Now, this is not the same ridge here, but it's a similar ridge. But I think the ridge we're looking at is a bit further round to the right here and a bit further over here. It's one of these off off camera here. But this is a very similar ridge, which is a bit closer. And we got a ridge coming down here and we got a, a city area here. This is part of the city on Mount Sharp. 
and we've got buildings here and we've got multiple hundreds and hundreds of terraces and stuff cut into the actual mountainside itself. Now I think, I still think a lot of these are actual structures, but what they were doing is they were building into the ground and then they were terracing and planting uh, food and crops on these terraces on the mountainside many thousands of years ago when there was still enough rainfall for them to do so. And they were actually growing crops on Mount Sharp. And I think this is evidence of terracing here. You can see these, these patterns in the actual rock here. And what they would have done is, is they would have added soil and material to these terraces using various uh, waste and stuff like that, waste products like dung and stuff like that from animals perhaps. They were probably keeping animals as well. Okay, and then they were growing crops on the actual mountainside, and you can see all these terraces. You can even see down here some of the city area structures here. Now a lot of this is natural, but what they were actually doing, I think, was actually digging into the natural, broken up, crystalline structures of the mountainside, and digging into it, and actually living in these areas which were already naturally sheltered and gave protection against the weather, okay? So I actually think they were building structures into a lot of this stuff here. This is fascinating stuff. And I'm not gonna go through all this because I have shown a lot of this before, but we've got a lot of these structures as seen from space that you can see some of from down here where the rover is down here at the bottom, okay? Currently the rover, I think, is uh, right over here in this area a bit further over and, and it's taking shots of the mountain looking this way up the side of this mountain here so it would be this part of the mountain okay which isn't in shot unfortunately but you can see what I'm getting at these these terraces are incredible uh, they're absolutely amazing and they're they're all over the place here and you can even see where there were buildings here you can see square and rectangular structures in the actual ground where there were buildings what we're seeing are remains and foundations and ruins, as well as terraces going right down to the lower slopes of Mount Sharp here. You can see hundreds and hundreds of these things. And in this one here, you can actually see these ridges and terraces from the side. And like I said, if you look at it in negative here, you can see them more clearly here. These layers, these are terraces. Now there would be natural layers of rock here anyway but I think these were actually built into and utilized for growing crops. And this looks, this actual, actual part here very much looks like a quarry because it looks like it's being dug out here and the rock's being cut away. And we've got this slope with scree and, and uh, debris sloping down and here. So that was interesting. So there's some really interesting details on here and you can see this terracing going right the way up the mountain and on this satellite image, you can see it going right the way from the top here. This plateau area is where the city is. The main, this is what I've called the centre of the, uh, the city. And it, the city is in, in sort of sections and parts, different districts going right round the lower slopes of Mount Sharp. And you can see some of them on the lower slopes here. There's structures in the actual rock that they've been carved into and, and built upon. All ruined, of course. And um, there's some amazing stuff here. I mean, look at this. Look at this stuff here. This is a city. These are structures. They're everywhere. They're absolutely all over the top of this mountain. But the, this isn't the top of the mountain, really. This is some of the lower parts of Mount Sharp, which are accessible from the base of Mount Sharp. Basically, you'd be able to travel up here from the base of Mount Sharp and come up here. There was a glacier here at one point. And then a, later a river coming down here. This is a river sort of coming right down the mountain from up here. And uh, this is where the, the city centre was. This is where the main buildings were and, and, and the main population. But there are sections of this civilization going all around the mountain. And we've only seen parts of it so far. We've got these crazy structures in the rock. A lot of, a lot of which are natural fissures and... Um, cracks and uh, crystalline structures, but they've been built into and were used as terraces, I think. 
by the culture that was living here. And you could see all these holes in the ground, okay? Absolutely all over the place. So I'll, I'll leave links to these gigapans for you to check out. And, and there are a few more as well. Now, this is one I did last year. And uh, I forgot all about it. And I just uploaded it this morning. And um, we got some crazy stuff in here. We've got rocks with what look like letters on the side of them, like this W here, the W shape. We've got this really weird thing there. I don't know what this is, but to me, this looks like a wrecked boat or some kind of structure here with the front end of it broken off here and this sticking up in the air. Really, really strange, okay? But the weird thing is, it looks like it's, it's got a face on it. But I don't think there's a face on there with a nose sticking out, although it does look like one. I think this is part of a boat, because we've got this kind of boat-shaped thing here, and the front end is broken and is jutting up, sticking up in the air in a really odd way, and it's very, very strange. And you, I've marked all these in these gigapans here, all these things. There's also this weird thing, which looks like a skull or weird creature or something, with a nose sticking out. And a mouth here with teeth here. Now, if I get the magnifier, you can actually see what look like teeth on this thing here. An eye here. A nose, big nose sticking out. This is the head. Some ear detail here. Or something. Okay, but it's not very clear. Now, unfortunately, this set of images were taken at quite a long distance and zoomed right in at the bottom of Mount Sharp here, but you can see that boat-shaped thing sticking up here in black and white. Unfortunately, they're not in colour, these images, but they're not too bad. The colour doesn't actually help with these images. Um, the colour actually obscures a lot of things and hides a lot of stuff. And often you find things in the black and white images much more easily because the colour doesn't obscure the shapes as much, okay, because there's no colour, right? And yet there you can see that boat thing with the broken bits sticking up at the front there. And there's loads and loads of weird wreckage here and things that look like petrified wood, like this log type of thing here. We've got this weird structure at the back, which is very strange. Uh, I've taken a clip of that. And uh, I've, there's also a sort of panoramic view looking the other way, looking away from Mount Sharp, behind the rover, looking in the opposite direction of the, uh, the, the lake bed and this ridge line. Now this is the edge of the lake bed here, going right along here. It's a long way off. This is a couple of miles away, right? So you're not seeing a lot of detail here. But basically we've got loads of weird stuff on this top, on, on this sort of uh, ridge here, on the edge of the lake bed. And there's a weird sort of bunch of very bright looking structures here. You can't make out what they are, but this looks like a ruin of some sort just here. And I've, uh, I've got a clip of that down here. But there's a, re a really long way off a lot of this stuff and you're not going to see much detail, but you can tell that there's something weird going on here because these wannabe rocks here are completely different in luminosity and colour and everything to all the surrounding rock and, and strata in the area. So they stand out like a sore thumb just here. And it looks like a collapsed structure to me, this does, uh, with very different material from the surrounding area, okay? There's that weird structure there with something weird on the front of it here. I think this is an actual structure that's ruined. And what we're seeing is, is some of the, a lot of the concrete, reinforced concrete and, and rock has just fallen away. And we've got this weird structure here, which is really odd. I don't know what to make of this at all, really. But there's something weird going on here with the shape of this thing, very odd indeed. Um, looks like another bunker-shaped structure which are all over the place. Then we've got this weird wreckage sticking up here, which is pointed. Now, like I've said many times before, there's loads and loads of weird wreckage in this area. And there's also loads of concrete. And we have here an almost perfect rectangular concrete section here. Okay? Now, these blocks are all over the place. And this is one of the better ones. You can see the, the edge of it here really nicely. And you can see it's rectangular, right? So that's not just a random rock. This is reinforced concrete. There's concrete all over this area. And in some areas, you can see where parts of it are sticking up like this, where there's metal parts in amongst it. I've shown many times before in recent videos, going back years as well, 
um, that there's loads and loads of these concrete sections in the area and a lot of them have wire and metal parts in the actual concrete holding it together. It's not very clear, it's quite a long way off. You've got this pointed part sticking out here and some interesting sort of shapes to it. That isn't just a standard rock, okay? And we've got other weird stuff as well. So this thing here is my favourite one, the boat, the broken boat here. But it may be some other type of structure, but to me, that's what it looks like. So we've got a boat shape with the front or back broken off here. Now, like I've said many times before, there was probably a tsunami in this area and massive mudslides coming off the mountain. And if there were any boats in the marina and dock area at the base of Mount Sharp that was there thousands of years ago, which I've shown, um, if there were any boats there, they would have been smashed up. And, and a lot of them that we see broken up upside down on their side some are, sp are split in two or three parts and this may be another one but it's not very big this one i don't know how big it is you can see it up here but this is a long way off so i don't know exactly how big this is it's not huge it's quite small okay but we're zoomed in a long way so it's almost impossible to work out how big these things are because all this stuff is about half a mile away or thereabouts the stuff in the foreground and we've got loads of these concrete block sections all over this area. There's that one there with the, uh, the W on the side. You can see that quite clearly in black and white there. There it is. Weird block section here. And there's loads of weird stuff here. And I'm not going to go through all of it now because I'll be here all day. There's loads and loads of little things. Um, absolutely littered with debris, concrete sections and weird bits of wreckage in between. There are probably skulls and things I haven't found here in between a lot of this stuff as well, and remains. Um, it's absolutely littered with this stuff. So this is like a massive debris field left over after the tsunami and mudslide that probably came down off the mountain and then ruined a lot of these buildings and smashed a load of stuff up and tipped all the boats upside down, smashed them up. And what we're seeing here is, is kind of a, a load of debris and mud and sand that's all kind of mixed up with wreckage and parts of the buildings and architecture which were smashed to pieces in the process uh, at least once probably twice by other means as well okay this one here is absolutely incredible um, this one from the uh, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter here uh, Mars Forbidden City West 1 now, there's a whole bunch of these on my Gigapan page if you follow the main link there's about six of these all, all adjacent to each other and you can mix and match them and look at them side by side and compare things from each one and some parts of it are in color like this bit here but most of them are in black and white but they're really really detailed and you can see crazy structures in here absolutely insane structures all over the mountain and they're absolutely all over the place and uh, like I said I'll link to the uh, playlist about the Forbidden City as well so you can check that out and that will give you all the links you need but i'll put some of these links as always in the description below so thanks for watching everybody this was a bit complicated this one but basically we've got loads of weird wreckage on the ground and then we've got terracing and structures up on the mountain that can be seen in these two here and this weird ramp coming down here what looks like a quarry and this weird cliff edge with terracing in front of it as well okay so thanks for watching everybody please like and subscribe if you haven't already please give the thumbs up and if you if you can't make a comment leave a thumbs up or an, an emoji that will class as a comment and that will really help this video my channel is being squashed quite severely at the moment and uh, not coming up in people's feed and stuff like that so if you interact with the video you will get more notifications from me and my stuff will come up in your feed and in your recommended videos okay so thanks for watching everybody I'll see you soon.